Hey, what's up guys? I got lucky on a couple eBay auctions and I have found myself with 200 packs of Pokemon Ultra Prism Booster Packs. And I was going to open up a whole bunch of them today, see what we get. I'm kind of hoping to see if I can get some Full Art Cynthias uh, and some other good cards out of there. So without further ado, let's see what we get from opening up some of these packs. Here we go, pack number one. And we got our Magnazone and a Baby Lele. Right on, let's go over another one. We're just going to try to tear right through these. We don't have a whole lot of time. We're going to try to get through as many packs as we can before I run out of memory. And a Bomb of Snow. Let's go. I keep going. No love yet, but lots of packs to go. Garchomp. Hey, there we go, Torterra. Along with the Grottle, you got a little evolution line all in one pack. Uh, I have a feeling we're going to be getting a whole lot of Rodoms. I already have a bunch, and we're probably just going to pick up a lot more. Yeah, there we go, another Rodom, Naraquinid. Ultra Prism has been probably one of the roughest sets for me to open. It seems to take forever to actually pull anything out of it. Any GXs, Full Art Trainers. I know someone's got to be having better luck than me, but I just don't have much luck in these packs at all. There we go. Finally, we picked one up there. We got the Dusk Maiden Necrozma GX. Let's see if this is a turning point and we start pulling some more GXs and full arts out of here. There we go, nice rainbow rare for Mosa. Mario, he's kind of popular right now. Look at that, there's one of my first ones, and I got the Rainbow Rare on Leafeon. Wi-Fi must be slowing down a little bit, guys. Sorry about that. More Rodham. So what do you guys think? What are some of your favorite cards out of this set? What are you hoping to find? Another Baby Lele. Shield on. Get that Magirna. That's a real nice Magirna. There we go. Second Leaf Yawn. Reverse Hollow Cynthia there. Still looking for those full art Cynthias. Love to get a full set of those in real life, but I haven't even seen one in the digital world yet. Dialga GX. This card, I gotta have more of these physically and in the digital than any other card. Anyone needs Dialga GX, go ahead and just try to find me and send me a trade request. 
My screen name is LDS B O O T S. That's LDS Boots. I usually try to leave everything marked as a trade if possible. If you guys want to trade in for some of these, let me know. Send me a trade request and I will see what I can do for you. More baby Lele's. See, I got ten of those so far. Actually, a neat little card. It's got the power of the Lele GX. It just doesn't have that Wonder Tag ability that everybody loves Tapu Lele GX for. But for one of the baby Tapus, it's pretty strong still. More Rodoms. You still get that increased damage per energy out there. What do you think of these new unit energies? It's almost like half of a rainbow, but without the uh, disadvantage of taking damage when you get hit with it. Still nothing coming off of these. No full art Cynthia's, no full art trainers. Couple rainbow rares, those are always a plus. Another Rodham, look at that. Another Dialga GX. Like I said, that one just seems to always show up. 31 packs down. Toxic Croak, first one. More Rodoms. See, with Rodoms, ability to have that free attack as long as you have so many tool cards in there. I wonder if we're going to be seeing an increase in the Garbodor again, which is giving you exit, giving your opponent damage for every tool card that you have in your graveyard. Reverse holotype null. I like it, and that hollow on that dramp is really nice. More Rodham. There we go. We got a Prism Star Dark right there. That makes three so far. You can only have one in your deck, so again, these cards that I get are going to be tagged for trade. You'll be able to go into send me a trade request if you're looking for any of these. Another Leafeon. You got three plus that reverse rare, so that's a full play set of the Leafeon GX's now. Another Leafeon. I got a full set plus the rainbow rare. I've gotten a couple of the Glaceon GXs, just regular art and previous openings. Surprised I haven't seen any on this new set. But like I said, this Ultra Prism has been not the most friendly with its gives to me. 42 packs in now out of 200. I'm going to try to get through the first 100 on this. Another Dusk Main Necrozma. Still don't have the Dawn Wings Necrozma. Palkia. It's actually a new one there. First one I've gotten. I think I 
might have a full art of that from a previous draw. More Rodhams. There we go. Got that super boost energy, another Prism Star card. Looking for the shinies, looking for the shinies. Keep tearing through these, almost 50 packs in. Another Rodham. Still have yet to see a full art trainer. This is pack 50. Speed up a little bit here. And here's a new one, Giratina. You know, I did play around a little bit with the Pissimian deck that's quite interesting. I took a couple of the Pissimians from the earlier Sun Moon set. There we go, Dawn Wing across the first one. Look at that. But yeah, I took uh, the earlier Pissimian from the earlier Sun Moon set that gave you extra damage for every Pissimian you had on your bench. And then add that up with the Pissimians from the new set, which give you extra damage for each of those that's on your bench when you're attacking an evolution Pokemon. And you can actually lay quite a bit of damage down with those guys. Pair that up with like a Marshadow GX or a Tauros or something. Ooh, we got a Glaceon, and there we go, look at that. We got Glaceon GX, along with a Prism Star Giratina. That's a nice pack there, double rare pull. I've also been fooling around with the Glaceon deck that actually works really well using Glaceon EX from earlier sets. I believe it's from Breakthrough. Along with Glaceon GX. So the entire point of this one is you want to try to get Glaceon GX out first because it stops the abilities of your opponent's Pokemon in hand, on bench, and active. And then if they start pulling out the evolution Pokemon you can switch that Glaceon EX whose ability or I should say a secondary ability of the attack is that he doesn't take any damage from evolution Pokemon so it's basically just a giant wall deck so you attack they can't hurt you back you get that Glaceon GX up front and it stops all of their abilities there we go there's a no the Prism Star there. I team that deck up with the uh, new Empoleon and I can actually deal out some pretty good damage. I'll try to put a video up of that. I've been fiddling around with it mostly so far. It's not finished yet, but I have had some pretty successful play tests with it. Still no full arts yet. We're 65 packs in. Not a single full art trainer. More baby Lele's. Trying to tag some of these for trade as I go. But I will go through later and just 
filter out by this set so I can tag all these Prism Star cards for trade in case, like I said, anyone needs anything from it. Go ahead and send me a trade request. Let's mark that Cynthia down. I got a bunch of those. Still hoping for some of those full arts. Another Palkia. Yeah. Seventy one packs in. Gotta be honest with you, I was really hoping for some better pulls here. This is this Cyrus? Play this card if your active Pokemon is water or metal. Your opponent chooses two bench Pokemon, shuffles them, and all cards attached to them into their deck. That looks like something that's gonna get added to my Glaceon deck with Empoleon. More Rodoms, another Solgaleo. Another Super Boost Energy. 76 packs in, 24 to go after this one. More Leafeons, we're really starting to stack up some of these evolutions. I do have to admit, I'm a little disappointed. Last time I did one of these multi-pack openings, it was with Guardian Rising codes that I was able to find. And I ended up pulling a few Tapu Leles out of that. Which was great, because I didn't have any Tapu Leles beforehand. That gave me three to play with online. Another Leafeon Rainbow Rare, we got two of those now. Almost to the end of the first hundred here. Fifteen more to go after this one. We'll have one hundred packs opened. Got to admit, very disappointed. Not a single full art trainer yet. Have got some nice Prism Star cards, got some nice Pokemon GXs. There we go, there's a full art Mars. Click right through these last ones. Another Giratina. Eight more after this one. Another 
Let me see if we reach energy. Four more. Yeah, secret rare missing clover. What's that do? You may play four at once. If you play one, look at a top card. If you play four, take a prize card. It's kind of expensive for a prize card, but if you combine that, if you happen to get all four of them in your hand somehow. With, like, Kartana, whose GX attack is take a prize card. Or Dialga, who allows you to take a second attack. And can pick up most of your prize cards all in one shot. Maybe even, like, with a Pokemon, with a uh, Guzzlord that you knock out and take an extra prize card. That'll take half your prize cards on pretty much the first attack. A <laughs> double Rodham. Lost count. Oh, I am already into the next batch of a hundred. I forgot to stop, guys. It's getting carried away. Ah, screw it. Let's go through all 200. Just be a long video. We're on a roll now. Type no. I'm gonna have to see if I can find more of these auctions that I can win with some low bids. My search for Cynthia, I'm gonna call it. There we go, there's one. I have found one. Three more to go. <laughs> That's a weasel pack there for you, weasel floatzel. Oh, a nice reverse hollow on the Alolan and Doug trio. Hey, we're getting some of those uh, Infernapes out there now. Have to take a look at some of these fire deck options. 
So much metal out there right now. So much metal. It's time for fire to come back in. That's my Glaceon deck was built. Along with Empoleon to try to counter some of those sets. I knew there'd be a lot of fire out there with the Rising Metal, and this is a water deck that can fight them and not get the damage taken back. Empoleon line's weak to lightning, so I don't have to worry about metal hurting that. A nice full art in Formosa there. Add that with some of the Formosas I got from the uh, Ultra Beast kits, and got a full set now. That Rainbow Rare, full art, and a couple regular arts. More Rodhams. You know you open a lot of these packs when you're flipping through and you don't get a little new tag on any of the cards. <laughs> Let's take a quick look at this and for me. Six downers counters instead of two on your opponents. Burnt Pokemon between turns. That actually looks really nice. You tag that up with like uh, an increased poison. Or if you got him on your bench with that new uh, Salazzle that poisons and burns. Couple some vipers on your bench to increase that poison. Magmortar, if this Pokemon is active Pokemon is damage opponents attack. It's now burned. The only thing about that burn is you get to flip to remove it between every turn. Poison stays with you forever. Especially if you play Po Town, which is it Po Town? No, it's the uh, valley that makes it so you can't get rid of special effects during an evolution. Desolation Valley, something like that. It's like we're on another little bit of a dry streak here. That full art Cynthia, I loved seeing it, but I don't think I pulled anything really good since. Nice reverse hollow on that Toxicroak. I've got about 56 more after this pack. And the reverse hollow on that Cynthia.
Yeah, we've been on a bit of a dry run. I haven't pulled anything good in a while. There we go. We got Glaceon GX. I think that brings me up to a full playset now. So what's your guys' favorite decks that you've built lately? Personally try to stay away from the meta. I like to play around with decks to screw with people, but uh Yeah, there you go, another Dawn Wings. They never end up being super competitive, but they're fun to play. Another Solgaleo, Prism Star. Another Dawn Wings. I always wonder if time of day would make a difference in opening these packs. Oh, there's another Leafeon GX paired with a Super Boost Energy. Should buy another few stacks of these cards. Try opening one around like midnight and see if I get better pulls than I do right now. Right now it's about 7.43 local time.
more super boost energies. Dark Eye Prism Star. Let you know what you think, guys. Should I buy some uh, more jumbo packs of uh, booster codes? Keep doing bulk openings like this, or what do you think? I can usually be patient enough to get a pretty good deal on a couple of auctions. Another Glacian. Yeah, that's a pretty one there. Nice rainbow rare dusk mane. Down in single digits on these packs. Mm, there's a nice full art. Don Wings and across a full. Do a bulk opening like this with real packs. Sil Valley. I think that's my first one. Oh, I have one other one. Is it only two more packs after this one? 200 pack opening. That Bastiodon. And here comes the last one. And it ends with a fan rodum. There you go, 200 pack opening everybody. Let me know if you think I should do some more of these. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, 